thanks, but no thank you, because it disturbs my peace. Pursue it, pursue peace. Oh, it's working, it's working. Uh, you're not supposed to sniff glue, are you? I don't know why I had this sense to sniff it. Anyway. and welcome to the last video of 2023 in this video i am doing my first ever vision board <laughs> no i shouldn't do that it is a vision board but um i want to do a prayer vision board so it's, it's very similar i guess to a, a general vision board but i find general vision boards quite materialistic so that's why I never cared for them or was interested in them because that's not where my interest lies. But then I thought if I do a prayer vision board, not only am I putting it to God, but I can put things on my vision board that God expects of me anyway. And so, you know, even though there might be a few, you know, materialistic things in here, um, it, it's generally what God wants for my life. So I put it to God. If he wants it for me, that's great. If he doesn't, that's fine. Do you know what I mean? So I've never done this before. So I'm just like, oh my gosh. I have three things. I hope it works because I don't know. Um, I have this big piece of card. I got this from the range. It was. I've, got, I've had this stuff for ages now. I just haven't had the time to sit down and do it. So this is from the range. I think it was about 150 or 1.99 or something like that and then i have a glue stick which very much reminds me of primary school and then i also have my free prints should you really use free prints because you get free photos and all you have to do is pay for delivery so it's really really great um but i know i'll put my code on the screen because then if you sign up to free prints with my code then you'll get more photos than general 45 photos in a month so yeah the whole bunch of photos that need to go on here like i don't expect to see any white spaces on this piece of card so <sighs> let me stop talking and uh, yeah let's do this vision this prayer vision board for me this is quite personal but um i'm happy to share some of the things that are going on my vision board and also i thought because i've been married over a year now you know i thought to answer some questions about what it's like being married for over a year how has my relationship changed since getting married so from boyfriend fiance to husband how has our relationship changed the thing is me and my husband really like easily fell into this fell into this role like of husband and wife it wasn't a shock to the system it was very easy for us so if there's anything that has changed it is it's just our closeness we're just so like i look at him and think oh my gosh you are me and i am you <laughs> like we are the same people like we're just the same honestly so guys i'll share something with you that's on my vision board so i have the fruit of the spirit so the fruit of the Spirit, a different characteristics that a believer in Christ should have. So it's like one fruit, just think of an orange, like it's an, think of an orange or a satsuma or any fruit that has segments. <laughs> um, and that's what it is, like one fruit with like nine segments. So let me just find them all so I can share them with you. Because then if it's on my vision board, right, just like a fruit, you have to cultivate it. You have to grow it over time and work at it because some of these things are not easy. Okay, I've got them. So we have long suffering. Some people want to call this patience, perhaps. Uh, gentleness, goodness. I know you can't see this. We have joy and self-control. Self-control, self-control. I've learned a lot of self-control since being married. We have peace and love. God has given me a peace that passes all understanding. I always say this, it even passes my own understanding. Sometimes I have peace about things and I have no idea why, but God. And then I also have faithfulness and kindness. So to have all of those, to cultivate them, to work on it and to just be this person, it's not easy, but it takes time. Um, and if I'm constantly praying 
to have the fruit of the spirit then I don't think I can go wrong and when you see it in your face you remind yourself because when you go day to day there's a lot of things that happen and you might get lost in the sauce and then you might look up at your prayer vision board and be like oh self-control okay I'm gonna have self-control you know so it's nice to see it like visual visualize it and see it right in your face so I'm gonna start with the fruit of the spirit because I think that's the most important and then I have other things related to Christianity so I've got this quote you can't see it it's just a white and it's got black writing on it God formed us sin deformed us the Bible informs us but Jesus transforms us amen and then I have uh, the full armor of God so we don't fight physically we fight spiritually and then there's a couple of scriptures uh, therefore I tell you whatever you ask for in prayer believe that you have received it and it will be yours Mark 11 24 and I can do all things through Christ who strengthens us if you know you know so that's gonna be like go, that goes straight down the middle and straight across so that's what I want to be like right in the middle of my prayer vision board so we'll go from there <laughs> anyways let's look for another question what in your opinion is the biggest challenge you faced in your marriage so far and how did you overcome it I think because of my unrealistic expectations of um, finances as a couple, it's not really been hard between us. It's just a, it's just me. I've just really like been, what? I don't understand. I have come together with another human being, right? You know, our wage is more than double now together and I still have no money. <laughs> what is going on i still have no money and you know so it was hard obviously because we had got married we went to the maldives for our honeymoon oh my gosh is this working oh it's working it's working uh, you're not supposed to sniff glue are you i don't know why i had this sense to sniff it anyway oh my gosh what if this doesn't stick anyway we're gonna try so yeah it was just me i was just like how comes i have no money how how like i just don't get it like giving paycheck to paycheck do you know what i mean like why i should be in a better off Ooh, i use glue in a while i should <laughs> this is so weird one minute i should anyway <laughs> i just told you one minute anyways i should be in a better off situation right right but the thing is i'll never know i don't know if it's an unrealistic unrealistic expectation because it, it makes sense but the maths wasn't mapping and um the cost of living was costing like the cost of living went up because we got married just around the time um everything started to reopen again like properly i think that's what like it we took a we took a big hit for that so yeah i don't know i honestly do not know if if i would have felt that way or i would have had less money if the cost of living didn't happen kind of thing so yeah okay I'm putting my first one down peace peace so huh, how did we overcome this well it definitely helped to have peace about the situation it we weren't like angry or upset or you know getting into any fights over it, it I was just like I just don't understand how we got here you know what I mean and you know it's just about open communication that's how you overcome anything within any relationship, romantic or not, it's communication. What you can do and what you can't do, don't live above your means. Rich Dad Poor Dad is a good book to read because it shows you how, it tells you physically how to manage your money, right? So just to break it down, keep your expenses low. If you have, a, for example, a car finance, Pay off your car, do not get a new car when the three years is over. Once you pay off your car, your expenses will go lower. So, you know, before even thinking about getting a new job or whatever, whatever, because if you not noticed, every time you get a new job, you end up in the same situation financially. Same situation financially. It's just ridiculous. Anyways, guys, it's getting dark and I realise the lighting has changed. So what I'm going to do, so I don't keep stopping and starting like this, I'm going to do... I'd probably, I'm going to get through half of it and then we'll come back and maybe answer a couple more questions. The reason being is because 
it's winter and it's getting dark so quickly and it's so stressful because you know this is the reason why it took me so long to do this video because there's just no light there's no light and it's long bringing out my, my ring light you see at the back oh no youtube is covering it <laughs> so yeah i'm a i'm gonna speed you up just while i do my best to uh get through this section um just to get through the first part of my uh prayer vision board okay we'll be back dark in here anyways you know how i said i did these ages ago well when i say ages ago today is the 24th of december i did these at the end of october right one of my materialistic ones was just an apple watch because i was like i don't own a watch i don't have a watch but if i do get one i will get an apple watch and look my husband bought one for me <laughs> So how cute is that? How cute, is, oh, look, look, can we? Uh, uh, anyway, let me get back onto this, please. Um, oh, let me let me answer another question while I'm here. I'm not even halfway done yet, so I might have to finish this video tomorrow. But another question is, is the first year of marriage the hardest? I can thankfully say, cannot relate. Cannot relate. And if this is the hardest, if it is supposed to be the hardest year, then wow, wow, me and my husband have the most amazing years to come up because, you know, yeah, we just, like I said, we just kind of fell into this marriage role so easily because we know each other so well. Um, even though we didn't live together, we didn't go on holiday together, we didn't do all this other madness together that people think you need to do together so you can know someone, it's all rubbish. Um, but we knew each other so well that we just fell into it so easy it was just like living with your best friend yeah it was so nice okay <laughs> let me let me continue please let me continue if i come back tomorrow it's just because it got too dark okay too dark hello guys so we are back like two days later it's fine i am fighting against daylight always but uh yeah i finally finished the prayer vision board it looks really good i'm not going to share it or anything it's just just between me and God, you know? Um, but yeah, the whole purpose of it was to embody what I would like and what I physically need. And, you know, it's just like, with it being visual, it's always like a constant prayer to God. Um, and then it also helps me to remember because I'm 30 and my mind is like a fish. So, you know, that also helps. Um, but just before we come to the end of the video, I just wanted to talk about what's coming in 2024 because by the time I post this, the next day will be 2024. And so just like a few updates. I won't say there's much changing, but there will be a bit of a shift. And so as you guys know, I always post on Sundays. I'll definitely continue to post on Sundays. I also want to post on Wednesdays as well, but it won't be every Wednesday and every Sunday. So sometimes you may get four videos in a month, sometimes you may get two videos a month, and this may fall on a Wednesday or a Sunday. If I'm having a really good week, could be on both days. But yeah, I may have to scale back just a little bit uh, this coming year in 2024, because you know, life. <laughs> but I still want to keep content flowing as much as possible. So just some updates. Well, first of all, there will be no more days in my life. Days in my life is no longer suited anymore for my lifestyle. I'd had a good run for like a year or two years or something. So, you know, if you want to go back to my days in my life videos, they're all there. There's a whole bunch of them. I'll definitely be rewatching because I enjoy doing days of my life, but it just doesn't make sense to do a 
ongoing flow lifestyle content anymore just for where I am in my life so it just doesn't make sense to do that so there'll be no more days in my life but I will still be posting lifestyle content here and there. There's definitely still gonna be like travel vlogs and hotel tours and that kind of stuff. Like that's still a part of lifestyle, but just not like days in my life, uh, not every single day. So there's that and um, I'll still be doing unboxings here and there. I won't be doing unboxings as much as I used to, but I'll still have some unboxings. I definitely still wanna do some clothing hauls here and there. I just don't shop that much. But when I do, I'll definitely do my best to like put content out there. So my Wednesday content, I will be doing product reviews because I am with, I did mention it on a previous video, but I am with a company, My Daily Choice. They have products, so I want to share them with you. Um, I'm also with another company who have products. Um, and I've also signed up to this app, Brand Ambassador. I haven't started using it yet, but I have linked my YouTube to it. So if there's anything on there that I can do to gain points and get more, I don't know, products and stuff and things to share, I'll be doing that and all that will be on my Wednesday content. And then my Sunday content will be more like everything else, the lifestyle stuff and the vlogs and the tours and all that kind of stuff as well. And then... I might do some tag videos. We'll see. I don't know. We just kind of go with the flow, really. <laughs> but yeah, so everything is more or less the same. I'm just taking out days in my life, and hopefully, I will be doing more product reviews instead of that because days in my life is gone. I have to swap it out for something else. Um, but with days in my life, you could post everything and anything. With product reviews, well, you don't always buy products. Well, some of you do, but I don't. So that's why there may not be a video every week how there has been for the past two, three years or something like that. So we're just gonna go with it and see. Don't wanna put any pressure on what my content will definitely be or definitely won't be um, because then I might change my mind tomorrow. That seems to happen a lot. So, but that's kind of the direction I want to go in. So yeah. God willing, it will be an exciting 2024. I hope all of you guys, I'm tired. I don't know why I'm tired, it's the holidays. I hope all of you guys had a good holiday and um, happy new year. Make sure to look after yourself, look after your loved ones, try and be kind. And there's a, there's a scripture actually that I will share with you which I think is perfect for everyone. So I will leave this with you and I hope you take it throughout 2024 and the rest of your life. It is Psalms 34 verses 14. Turn from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. So pursue. Imagine thinking about something that you really, really want and how you go about that. Do the exact same thing, but peace. Pursue peace. Do everything in your power to keep peace. That's a huge one for me. I've seen the difference it makes when you literally just step away, step back, just let the chips fall where they may. You know, I used to say that so much and now I am really, truly living it. It's so funny how you may say things when you're younger and you're just saying it because it's a good, or it's a funny saying or whatever. And then years later, it actually catches up to you and now you're living out that let the chips fall where they may. Like, just, just peace. I can no longer hang out with you because it's, it's taking away my peace. I can no longer get involved in this because it no longer gives me peace. Anything, anything, you know, especially within Christianity, people like you to do things that goes against the word of God, but then it doesn't give you peace. So, cool, but no thank you. <laughs> Thanks, but no thank you, because it disturbs my peace. Pursue it, pursue peace. I will leave that with you for the end of the year, and I just hope and pray that you take it in to the new year. And I will see you on the other side. Bye. Mm -hmm.